Okay, in this session, we're going to have a look at the exposure cassette and loading an imaging screen into that cassette. So if you look here, we have two sides to the current screens that we sell. One side is a black color, and actually this has a ferrous material built in, which is going to allow us to attach to ma the magnetic stage. The other side will be either white or blue, depending on the screen type. We currently have four different types of screen type. The one I have here is MS, so this is multipurpose standard. We're going to use for most of our samples. We also have one called SR, which is super resolution, and that's going to be using with arrays and tissue sections. We have one which is called TR for tritium, and obviously that's going to be working with our tritium samples. And then the final one, which is not going to be so commonly used, is for neutron detection. So maybe you have a physics lab who are doing stuff with neutrons, and then we can use this setup to do that. The exposure cassette here is going to hold our screen and be held in a light tight environment. We'd have our sample in here with the radioactivity. If it was a wet gel, obviously you want to have that protected with something like sarin wrap or a mylar sheet to pre prevent contamination of the screen. And because you have the radioactivity down here, the storage phosphor screen needs to have the uppermost side in contact with the sample. So we'll place that like so. And then we're going to close the exposure cassette. And then we'd leave that in the hot lab for the right amount of time to get the correct exposure time to get our dynamic range used for the screen. After that set amount of time, we would open up the exposure cassette again. Then we're going to take this device, which is a suction cup plunger. We'll place that on the corner of the screen. That will allow us to easily pull the screen out while we're still in the hot lab. We can take the screen over here. Now, the important thing is we take our radioactive sample out. We'll leave that in the hot lab. We could then leave the screen in the exposure cassette and close that up again. Now we can take this up to the machine for scanning without any danger of having any radioactivity in contact with the instrument.